This one is a very scathing article. Scathing, I mean, I'm really surprised because AME Info has lately been bashing UAE. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if their website is going to be blocked because AME Info, uh, the writer is Maiden Khalid, who is the Chief Investment Officer and Partner at AS, 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 AS Capital. Why call that name right? Okay, AS, AS Capital. Okay. Um, a summary of his article is 60,000 units will be delivered by 2019 and 20. Okay, 60,000 units, housing units. So this will push the prices of properties, that is houses which are offered for rent or sale, by 15 to 20% more. As it is, the average home has lost 13% of its value last year. I'll give you my thoughts on this. See, first, I told you, very simple. The This is sand. Dubai was sand. On top of the sand, you built the whatever, the boom period from the 70s, 80s, 90s to 2000 was a boom period. So a house that was, let's say, for rough, just for argument's sake, 1,000 was the value of the house. You suddenly started, you know, raised it to 10,000. Then you push it to 100,000. That is just rent. And where the sales were of that house, which was like before you could buy a house, let's assume at 100,000, you push it up to 1 million. Now you're selling for 10 million. This was during the boom period. Now what has happened is people have actually realized what is the fucking value. Because like I said, there's no stability in the region. Uh, people have realized this is just sand. It's all speculation. You, They think they're going to be bigger than UK, bigger than USA, bigger than... I remember they even had speeches where they believed their turnover is going to be bigger than China. I'm, I'm not exaggerating. In conferences, they predicted their turnover was going to be bigger than China and USA. UAE is going to be much more progressive than China and USA and all that. Big, big talks. I When I was in UAE, you know, at all these conferences. So today, what has happened is oversupply has hit the housing market, lack of liquidity, buyer's fear. So when you, why, when you have cash in your hand, why will you buy something when there is fear that it's going to crash? So you're going to hold on to your money. Okay. Oil prices are crashing uh, and fluctuating. Instability in the Middle East region. Six. Uh, hype that Middle East countries were the tallest tower. We're going to build the biggest bridge. We're going to build an underwater hotel. We're going to build this city for millions of people. Uh, 25 million visitors are going to come. So everything is speculation. Then people now are moving to cheaper alternatives. I don't need to spend uh, and live in Dubai. My wife and children, my wife and children can go to Philippines or India or back in my country in Dublin, Ireland, where education is free or UK where education is free. They're sending people back home. Oh, here I need a visa to work. My wife needs a visa and register a company. They, in my country, she can do it for cheaper. Okay, so they're going for cheaper alternatives. On top of that, the spenders. You had the Russian mafia. You had people from Europe. You had the dollar. But now Europe is going through a crisis. Plus Brexit, the Russian mafia. Oh, now you are, um, you know, you're checking all. Even Putin. Putin doesn't want. He is people taking money out. Keep my money back in. Then you have India, which under Narendra Modi, which suddenly said, black money, I'm going to crack down on it. Then um, Pakistan, Imran Khan suddenly woke up and said, All right, guys, if you have hidden investments, I need to know where the fuck they are or I'm going to put you in jail. Then on top of that, you had uh, the Qatar blockade. Uh, now you have even South Asian governments who are asking, expose your hidden investments. Or if you're going abroad, we need to know what the fuck you're doing. You're not paying taxes. Imara Nakil, the giants, they failed to deliver. Uh, remember my previous uh, video where I spoke of thumb wheel investments and housing that crashed. Then you had scams, plenty of fucking scams. Just Google UAE scams. Uh, you have lack of regulatory rules. You keep making all these new fucking rules and you don't have a department. You don't have anyone to reinforce those rules. For example, just go to RIRA, go to uh, the ministry, go to the visa counter, go to immigration, ask them similar questions. Each one will give you like 99 years visa. Immigration people are like, what the fuck is 99 years visa? But the housing market was saying, oh, yes, 99 years visa is there if you buy the property. Okay. Then you have uh, failed hype deals. 
remember falcon city underwater city uh outro city um the now they have dubai district 1 dubai district 2 and all that then expats sending their children because now schooling has become more expensive business bay which was supposed to be like the hong kong is hardly less than 50% occupied and most of it is empty incomplete projects with skeletons just the empty building this construction is there but nothing is happening job losses which are happening left right and center in the banking construction aviation logistics shipping services and last if not the least unpaid salaries you know i keep sharing with the video so all this all this has been shared through ama info okay all these bits not all most of them and i'm also giving you the reason why um uae is on a sharp decline it's not just me being a hater it's you know what you do you'll reap what you do today you'll reap tomorrow so today they were enjoying uh tomorrow they are suffering so this is the same thing so one bedroom in marina as per this report it seems before it was 2 million uh dirhams now it's at 1 million so if you want in dollars it was 545 dollars now it's 272 so it's half the price in 4 5 years rents were 130000 that's 35000 dollars uh before now it is 75000 uh dirhams so 130000 dirhams has come to 75000 or 35000 dollars has come to 20000 in fact here's the thing to consider nowadays they even provide bed and breakfast in hotel apartments good ones 400 dirhams so then why the fuck should you invest millions when you can stay in a nice apartment everything taken care of and um, you know enjoy yourself <laughs>